guys, it's Oscar, and I'm here for another Shave of the Day recap and another fragrance giveaway. So, as you may know, if you've been watching, what I've tried to do is, um, you know, match my shaving software to a corresponding fragrance that would go well. In this case, well, let me talk about uh, the shave first, and then we'll get into the giveaway and how it all kind of ties together. Today, I use, um, I went back to the Starling, went back to the Phoenix shaving single edged starling now I had been having issues if you watched before I had a little bit of issue with um, kind of blades the the, the way it, it felt like the second um, shave after um, you know with a new blade I would get some tugging and whatnot and um, I just I, I don't know I just I, I I didn't have that problem today thank God um, it wasn't uh, my second shave on a new blade and it actually went really well um, but the last time I used this, and I didn't talk to you guys about it, um, I actually got myself a couple times as I was kind of stroking down. And I, what I figured out what it was, was, first of all, what I did was I tried a different handle. And I don't know if the heavier handle that I used kind of got into my head and somehow made me think that with a heavier handle and a lighter head that I needed to apply more pressure and subconsciously I did that. But when I was going down, the corner of the blade the, where the blade is here, it's not in there now, but the corner of the blade got me and I had a pretty good cut here and I didn't, I kind of felt like, oh, that felt weird, but then it didn't start to bleed right away and then I went over here and I started over here and I did the same thing and I realized that it was the corner of the blade. So, you know, I, I got back, I f uh, gave feedback to Douglas about it because um, that's what he wanted. He wanted feedback and from what I understand, some of those older, um, you know, older single edge blades had some kind of, or oh, single edge razors had some kind of blade guard here. So, um, that's, that was just my experience. So, um, but today, good shave again, had to pay attention again, zero pressure and everything turned out fine. So, um, no weepers, no blood, no nothing. Um, and I use this new, um, you know, fairly new Brad Sears, um, brush that I have, you know, with the, um, caramel colored striping. And the ivory, or I'm sorry, yeah, the ivory, and um, you know, great, great brush. So, getting into the software, I used, um, and if you're familiar with this setup, then you'll know where I'm going with the fragrance. I did use Deja Fougere by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement slash Phoenix Shaving. Now, when I was first getting into this hobby, I remember. It was right around, or right before the time of the first New York City meetup when Anthony Esposito and all and everybody else up there in the Northeast met up at Pasteur's and 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 uh, they had you know they all met up there and then they all kind of went to this you know they had a lunch together and I remember thinking how cool that would be for that to happen here that was at the end of 2014 I believe and then came a few months later the first Big Shave West so. Um, but getting back to that, right after that, that New York City meetup, I, and I remember I had been in, the, in some of the Facebook groups saying how cool it would be to do something like that here. Lo and behold, about a month later, up at the Old Town Shaving Company, they did have a small California meetup. I think there was maybe 10, 12, maybe 15 people there. But um, I remember watching the small video, and Douglas had brought a small sample of what was going to be well he he made a soap for that small event i don't it had a bear it had kind of the california bear on it and i don't remember what it was called but eventually it became this it became deja fougere um i want to say he called it deja fougere because it was actually a throwback to the original fougere um and i did use the soap along with the aftershave and i miss these bottles i wish uh, they would bring these back but the aftershave, the characteristics, I got a lot of vanilla-ish, tonka, um, a little bit of lavender kind of thing going on. And it's just very warm, very welcoming. It's not a, a, a warm, I'm sorry, a cold weather uh, scent per se, but it can be. Um, but it just, it just smells good. It sticks around, you know, Douglas's stuff, they, it sticks around and it just smells awesome. And so it turns out that what he did with this was actually um, an inspired by 
this, Fougere Royale by Aubergeon. You can see it's Fougere Royale and it says Aubergeon, H-O-U-B-I-G-A-N-T, Aubergeon on the, on the lid. Now, this was actually, by all accounts and all the research I've done, this was the first Fougere. Um, I will link the Fragrantica and Base Note pages to this for this scent um, underneath. But I, if you take a second to kind of read, um, read about what's written about this scent and about the House of Ubajan, it's it's like wow, really. Um, and if you're getting into fragrances at all, you gotta know about Ubajan and and Fougere Royale. This is what this was the standard, the basically the the line that started any other fougere that's been created anywhere from brute by Fabergé to you know a lot of the but anything that's fougere or that is classified as fougere started right here now this the the scent was originally um originated in 1882 then it was discontinued in the 50s then it was brought back in 1988 then it was discontinued again then it was brought back again in 2010 um, I don't know when this is from. I actually was fortunate enough to find this on eBay. Um, and I was trying to do research on the code, on the batch codes, but I didn't really find anything. So I'm assuming this is, you know, obviously post-2010 reformulation. Um, it smells amazing. And it does, right away, it doesn't smell like the Deja Fougere more. Right away in this, I get more of a lavender kind of a right off the bat, but in the dry downs, they're the same. But the scent pyramid, according to basenotes.com, for Fougere Royale is as follows. On the top, you have lavender, bergamot, and clary sage on the top. So you get some lavender with some citrus. In the middle, you got geranium, heliotrope, rose, orchid, and carnation. It sounds like it would be really floral. It's not as floral as it sounds so but it's floral enough to where it you're kind of like wow this is drying down really nicely and it, and it just smells very very nice and on the bottom you have oak moss tonka musk and vanilla tonka and vanilla fairly similar you get that creaminess a so warmth a little bit um and then the musk and um and the oak moss get what well, you're going to give it a look kind of a little kick a little spicy what it is to it so but uh, what, uh, interesting enough like i said uh, the the house of Ubijan, the 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 perfumer who created this one they were the first to getting into scientific stuff they were the first to actually chemically separate the compound and the scent of coumarin from tonka and now tonka again is one of the main ingredients in the creation of this scent but they suppose what from what i understand in my novice fragrant mind was that being able to separate the coumarin compound from the raw material of tonka beans allows the allows more variation in the use of coumarin in creating other fragrances in 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 using it as an ingredient in other fragrances so you basically you get a bunch of tonka beans they're able to separate the coumarin and then they're able to use a coumarin in creating other stuff in different levels of concentration just as an ingredient not as a whole but I thought that was pretty interesting so um, you know perfumery obviously isn't just let's throw a bunch of stuff in and see how it smells I mean it's it's like the, the science to it is really really interesting I just thought I'd throw that in so anyway going on nine minutes so if you're still here this will be the giveaway this time again original fougere every other scent that has the characteristic of coumarin and clary sage or tonka is classified as a fougere and it's because of this stuff right here and any of you more fragrant expert types if if i'm wrong please um comment correct me but if you're in let me know this is the og right here this is the stuff that kind of started it all um as far as um, the fougere family goes so um again i will be drawing two names and you will each get where did i put it you will each get one of these three milliliter sample of fougere royale by umbajan it looks kind of small but you know here's let me see here's a standard size chapstick and there's the 
container. So, you know, it, it'll last you. It'll last you long enough to decide if you want to try to get more. Um, or it'll last you, it won't last you so long that, whoops, yep, broke it. It won't last you so long that, um, if you don't like it, you can't get rid of it. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have to clean that up. Anyway, um, so that's it. Um, tell me you're in. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, um, that way. And then if you subscribe, you hit the little bell, um, on YouTube, you hit the little bell. That'll notify you when, um, I post a video. That way, if you're in the drawings, you'll know when um, I, you know, might have posted the winner's video. Again, um, Michael is having a great time doing these videos with me. Thank you guys, um, the kind comments regarding him. And thanks for participating. Again, I hope you'll subscribe. I hope you'll keep watching. Tell me you're in for the Fougere Royale by Uwe Jean. And um, we'll see you next time. We'll draw a name in a few days. All right? Everybody be well. Peace.